Namaste, welcome everyone. This is my 14 days My Vasho Yin Yoga Challenge. My name is Kata van Dusselaar and today is day seven. We are halfway through. I hope you're enjoying it and I hope you start to feel the benefits of these My Vasho Yin releases but also the power of acupressure. I'm a big fan of this. I've been studying both, of course, Yin Yoga, but on top of that, both the fascia uh, with Tom Myers, with Karen Gurdner, and also acupuncture, acupressure, and I love to unite these two. It just gives such a healing, energizing, and very efficient um, power to everything that we are doing, whether it's to rebalance something inside of ourselves, whether it's to heal, whether it's to transform, or to just feel better in our life. So today we go with day seven, We'll keep going with the liver and gallbladder support by now to really support the organs that are helping us to move the energy in spring and get things done and manifested and get a clear vision. And um, yeah, I hope that you really start to sense a little bit the energetic connection, the fascia connection, and maybe as you move throughout your days, you feel different than before maybe looser in the body, maybe also a bit more clarity in your mind or calmer in your nervous system and emotions. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And now we start with the seventh practice. Let's get into a nice comfortable sitting position. This day we will start already with the sitting as we will use it for the pose, right? So you don't need to have both legs crossed. You can have one leg straight and then the other leg crossed. If you need to, you can always put a pillow or a block here underneath the thigh. And for a moment, let's just have a little settling here, observing the sensations, observing our breath, And just softening into this moment, into your yin moment. But maybe you could already notice that these practices are not just purely yin, even though it's yin yoga, but there is a sense of activation in them, which is very much what we need in spring, right? In spring, nature becomes alive, wakes up, animals are buzzing, everything is super vibrant. It's not the time to keep sleeping, that's winter. So it's with reason, with, um, with an explanation and uh, a sense that we do this little more activation. So we will start this practice with a little twist, a gentle twist. Um, we're just going to walk towards that bent leg, that bent knee. And you can take the other hand behind you. What is important is that we always twist with a straight spine, right? So if you feel you're collapsing, it's important that you sit either on a pillow or on a block. So with an inhalation, have a little lift and then gently Move back, nothing to strain us. You don't need to really push like you would do it in an Ashtanga class. Also, you can let the other foot fall in. And also, you can explore the position of your neck. You can give yourself a little neck stretch, maybe by leaning a little bit to one side and try to just relax your shoulders. You can close your eyes.
and just explore where do you feel this goes. Maybe you can feel it in the inner leg, maybe in the other extended leg or the hamstring, glutes area, or maybe you really feel the twist in there, in the shoulders. Next stretch. Notice what can you soften more, release more. just have the last few breaths here maybe you want to twist a tiny bit deeper and then slowly with an exhale moving back to the center maybe it feels nice to right away move to the opposite side and then from here just stretching both of the legs for a moment. Sit here in the middle and just let go. You can observe if you feel any difference between the two sides. And then slowly from here, we can just move over to the opposite side. So bend the opposite leg and gently twist to the opposite side. Again, first have that elongation in the spine, just to gain a little bit more space and then gently twist. You don't need to twist super deep. If you want, you can have a block underneath your hand behind you. You can also support the knee, the thigh here on the side. And again, you can try to look for a position of your head. Even though it may not be easy to breathe here calmly, try to let the breath 
gently move down through your core and slide out from there. last two breaths here maybe twisting the tie a little deeper if that's available if you notice your body loosen and then gently slowly moving back to the middle we can extend again this bent leg Maybe it feels nice to either first just move back again to twist the opposite way around and to have just a tiny bit of loosening and releasing. And we will close this practice with a caterpillar or, and I give that to you, if you want, you can have legs up the wall or even the dragonfly against the wall, right? With the dragonfly twist. If you feel like having it against the wall, we can do that. Or you can come with me into the caterpillar, right? With an inhalation, just have a little lift. And then with an exhale, slowly release your body, your upper body to gravity's pull. You can release your head, your neck, if you need to, you can support your head with a little block or maybe a bolster that you can put between your legs and just have it like under the forehead. Right, not going super deep, but just finding the position into which you can release yourself. Calmly breathing through the nose and eventually just releasing. Allowing the energies to flow through you without any blockage. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face, your jaw.
again, if that's something that you resonate with, you can have the inhalation as really a breath of spring, inviting the renewal energy. And then with every exhalation, releasing what holds you back from branching out in a new way. Or releasing any tension, inner conflicts, so that you can see your vision more clearly. And you can clear the past for a new cycle. And let's just have the last few breaths here. If you want, you can allow yourself to maybe melt a little bit deeper. It's totally fine to bend your knees a little if you need to. Just have the last full exhale here. Slowly from here, we can move ourselves out of the pose. See if your body needs anything. Neutralize. And then gently drop yourself down onto your back. You can also just have a little wiggle or circling a little bit with your knees to massage the lower back. Twisting a bit from side to side and eventually allowing ourselves to drop into today's Shavasana. Find the most comfortable position. If you need to, you can put a pillow underneath your knees or cover yourself if you need it. And just allowing yourself to melt into the earth, into Mother Earth's embrace. Maybe visualizing, imagining the fertile ground. This beautiful green nature that it's renewing itself. And allowing yourself to be part of that renewal. Take as much time as you need and as you can in the Shavasana, taking it all in and enjoying your breath, enjoying this time that you have for yourself. Coming out of Shavasana whenever you feel you're ready for it. And just noticing again, where did this mini practice take you? And 
finishing our practice with an on together and a deep gratitude that we connect and we share this beautiful yin community. So nice long inhale. keep resting if you choose so. Thank you very much for today and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a fantastic magical day. Namaste.